The art of sales is an ability for me as a presenter to talk to an audience of salespeople or business people about how to get people to buy. It's not about how to sell. My, my first quote, people don't like to be sold, but they love to buy. When I give a talk at the art of sales, I'm going to talk about the nuance of how to get in front of a, of a decision-making person and get them to want to buy. Anytime you go to a seminar, it's an important event for several reasons. Number one, you get to meet people in the audience. Number two, you get to listen to the presenters and get their point of view. And then finally, you get to figure out how their point of view can be interpreted into your way of selling or your way of life and go back to your office or go back to your home and become better as a result of it. Okay, you've just seen my event. You're now back at your office. And you're thinking to yourself, oh, what, the, what do I do first? It's not what you do first. It's really what you do next because you've already been, you've been doing first for five years or maybe three years or whatever your length of time in sales is. And what you have to do is stop for a moment and be yourself. What do I got to do to attract who I want and what I want? Remember that from my talk? That's what you have to do first and make a game plan so that you can begin to get better on a day-by-day -day basis. Maybe it's your social media, maybe it's your presentation skills, but whatever it is, you have to focus in on those things that will make you better. That's number one. And number two, you better stop griping about stuff. It's cold out, big deal. Get a jacket, get a sweater. Don't talk about mundane things. Talk about important things. Talk about what the motive is for your customers to buy. Talk about why the customer rejected you and how you can fix that for the next time. Make certain that you concentrate on what's important as well as concentrate on how you can morph this information into you.